Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's you here. Today's video, I'm gonna do a thorough review for you guys about Sonia G's eye brushes. I have them all piled up here. And I do have other face brushes from Sonia and I did do a review some time ago about her Fusion series. If you're interested, definitely check it out. I'm gonna link it up here. Um, yeah, and I also have some several others, but today I'm just gonna devote my whole attention to all of these eye brushes. Brushes. I'm just gonna talk about them really briefly. As you can see, I have uh, dissect them into categories. All of these here are her classic, like the fundamental lines, which are like the worker one, two, three, blah and blah kind of a series. And this is like the special sky eye set. And this is the pro eye set. And this is some other brushes that I'm gonna talk about, which is like my really a favorite. Um, yeah, and let me briefly walk you through about her naming system about these brushes. So as I uh, mentioned, starting from a worker uh, for her fundamental line, we have worker one, two, three, I have all of them. And from the pro eye set, we have the worker pro. And then we have builder group, which is builder one, two, three from her fundamental line again. And then we have the builder pro from the pro eye set. And then we have the pencils. For me, I did only have the pencil two, but there is a pencil one out there. And also we have a pencil pro from her pro I set. These two are really similar, basically the same. It's just that Pencil Pro is slightly smaller than Pencil 2. And then we have Smudger. Smudger, again, I only have Smudger 2. I don't have Smudger 1 from the fundamental line. And we do not have the corresponding Smudger Pro in her Pro I set. But moving on, we have the crease uh, brushes. I don't have any of the fundamental line crease brushes like crease one nor two. I do have this crease pro because I purchased this whole pro eye set. So there's one of that. And from the sky series, there's like a classic crease. And yeah, uh, moving on, we have the blender. There is no such like a blender one or two or three in her fundamental line. However, we do have blender pro from her pro eye set. Also a a jumbo blender from the sky I set so that consists of everything that I have from her fundamental line also the five brushes of her uh, pro eye set and we included like two of the uh, sky series so for the other three brushes from the sky set it's named differently they are named really interestingly uh, we have the soft shader we have the flat definer we have the mini booster and these are just uh, per, uh, named after the purposes or the functionality it was designed for and we're just gonna talk about that more in later demo and yeah and the one last one is this detail pro uh, Sonia herself said this is like a you know like a layering or like a overlapping brush between eye makeup and face makeup like meaning you can use this for your eye as well as for your face but I mainly use this for my eye and it has definitely become one of my favorite from her and yeah that's everything about these brushes we have like a brief view, a brief view of them today's video we're gonna do two sections section one I'm gonna demo all, all of these fundamental brushes from her which I have eight of them and then we're gonna dive into a comparison review between the sky eye set and pro eye set meaning I'm gonna use one set on, on one eye and the other set one on the other eye let's draw the same kind of a eye look while using them we can definitely compare experience and explain the differences also like the functionality of its own uh, for these two sets so yeah that's like two parts of today's video now let's jump into part one using the fundamental set to create some eye makeup so for our first set the fundamental series we're just gonna use this Pat McGrath mothership number no. nine utopian dream palette so on my right I'm using this to, uh, this pink shade to give a base and I'm using worker 2 and you can definitely see how fluffy and efficient this workhorse is it just pack on the colors really efficiently and without too much of blending it became that very transparent layer of a wash of color and the area of application is definitely kind of you know ideal because my eyes I do want the color to go above my folds too and moving on to the left I'm using worker 3 this is a thinner brush 
especially from the side. It's not as much uh, as dense as the worker one or two. So it probably would layer down the colors slightly smaller and you know less intense. It gives you much more flexibility. So if you don't have that much of a space in between your uh, brow and eyes, this may be ideal. Or if you prefer a soft look, this worker three probably would give you a lighter wash of color. So the second step, I'm using uh, the Builder 2 first to layer down the outer V depth shade. As you can see, this is a very thick, chubby brush, and it does have a large pack of a uh, hair, so you can definitely use it to slightly blend it out. For my left eye, I'm using Pencil 2, which is like a cone shape to layer, uh, layer down the outer V shade. But this brush, Pencil 2, I think it definitely lacks that movement because it's not as fluffy as other brushes. I don't rely on this one to blend this shade out. I only rely on it to place down very precise outer triangular, you know, outer V shape. So now I'm just gonna go back to Worker 1 or 2, these two Worker blending brushes to blend it out for both of my eyes. Next up, I'm using Builder 1 and 3 to put on the uh, topper shades and I'm just going to show you how I use Builder 1, this very stable, firm and powerful little builder to just, um, you know, uh, break up that hard pan shade, especially like this trochrome shade in Utopian Dream. You see that? Its tip is really strong in terms of how it's, it can break, break into that hard pantness. And now we're left with all this shade on the brush and we can pack it on. See how few products are left behind on this brush once I pack it on. That's the thing I love about natural hair brushes. It's just very efficient. It does not take away or absorb, absorb your product. It's just really a great experience. I'm going to use Builder 3 for the other lid to pack on this trail chrome shade. For my inner corner shade, I'm going to use again the pencil 2 since it's just that little pencil to do the detail work. So I figure why not use it to light up my inner corner. For my left, I'm using Builder 1, which is the super powerful pack packing brush just to pack all of these sparkly shades onto this eye. Inner I love Builder One so so much. I just think it's just the most ideal brush, especially for these crazy, you know, sparkly shade where you can definitely see the particles and everything. I'm just gonna make this motion really efficient. See, I can use this Builder One to control that inner crease line as well. Just control these shades within that crease. Now we're only left with the Smudger 2 from our Sonia G Fundamental Collection brushes. So I'm just gonna use this brush to smoke out my lower lash using a red bronzy shade. So it's very so precise because of its shape. For my left eye lower lash, I'm trying to use the Pencil 2 little brush here just because it does have a little bit of a pointy tip on its top so let's do that so one last step is draw some eyeliner with eyeshadow and i'm using the smudger again just the tip of it because it's really thin and um narrow there so it's probably okay to use it as a liner brush on this side, I'm using Builder 1 to draw the eyeliner because it does have that very narrow and thin tip at the top. So I figured it's probably workable, doable. Let's see. I'm just gonna be a little bit too bold here because of the size of it. So if you're someone who is going for bolder eyeliners, it definitely can do the job but I'm someone who is really delicate on the eyeliner. So maybe Smudger 2 would be more ideal to draw this eyeliner, meaning smaller eyeliner. 
All right, guys, so we tried out all the eight brushes from our fundamental uh, collection of Sonia G's eye brushes, all of them. And let me zoom you guys out and briefly talk about our conclusions here. So after seeing me using these brushes in action, you probably have guessed my rankings over these brushes. Um, for, for the Worker 3 brushes, I definitely love Worker 1 or 2. Remember, 1 and 2 are exactly the same shape. It's just dyed, dyed versus undyed. And they are just kind of like the staple and workhorse in my everyday makeup routine. No matter it's like layer down your base color or, you know, just uh, blending out your later depth shade or other edge edges, even your lower lash. It's just so very versatile and also useful in every single aspect. This is a must buy from Sonia G in my opinion from her fundamental eye brushes. And moving on to the Builder uh, 3 brushes, Builder 1, 2, 3, as you saw, I definitely love Builder 1, how special the brush is designed. Like it has this really wide design at the ferro pinch, but uh, all the way to the top, it's really steep. So it definitely goes back to that really thin and narrow layer so for this kind of brush it's so versatile you can use it to break out your your you know hard pen shades you can definitely use it to dab on all the sparkly shades no matter how chunk chunky or how fine uh, these particles may be it's just gonna stick to your eyes once once you put this brush onto your lid it definitely leaves minimum product on your lids because it's natural hair again and as you saw i use this brush to draw my eyeliner uh as well because of its very tip it's really narrow and thin and if you watch for like the areas you know be, become more patient or delicate than i am today you definitely can use this brush to draw an eyeliner easy peasy so it definitely is similar or i should i say the smudger 2 is similar to the design of this builder one so that i love the smudger 2 as well as you saw for this eye use it to, uh, to draw the eyeliner to smudge out your lower lash all in all, it's just performing well. So Smudger 2 is definitely recommended here as well. Going back to the Builder 2 other brushes, Builder 2, I don't get it. I don't know the point of it. It's so chubby. As you saw, I use it to do my outer V sh shading. And it's not very ideal because it's too chubby, too big for my eyelids. And I want to use this brush to blend out the outer V. It doesn't work. Uh, as well because it's just very short in terms of the hair length so it's not giving me too much of a flexibility i would rather use worker 2 to blend out the you know the outer edges and also i want to say builder 3 is too common it's definitely similar to let's say mac 230 uh nine that's like a classic shader brush so i guess from builder builder one is definitely the unique one here all right we still have the pencil two to talk about i love the pencil two it's design uh like it's really really precise you can just layer uh, layer down your inner corner or outer v shade or you can do the highlighting thing you can do your lower lash However, for my eye size, I think Pencil 2 is still too big for me. So moving on to the Pro eye set, we would have the, uh, the Pencil Pro, which is fairly smaller than Pencil 2, but they have exact the same shape. So that one is definitely much more preferred by me, but I do recommend both because of their shape and uh, shape. You just pick one, uh, pick the right size for you. So yeah, that's my conclusion there. Okay, that's everything about the fundamental brushes from her. Now let's um, remove all these makeup and try out the two sets of eye brushes, the Sky Eye Set and the Pro Eye Set. So for this comparison between Sky Eye Set and Pro Eye Set, I'm using the Retro palette from Natasha Denona. Uh, for Retro, we do have a lot of cream to powder formulations and we definitely can see how natural goat hairs would have its magic on these um, cream to powder formulations. Let's see. So first of all, I'm giving the base to my eye and on my right, I'm using the Pro Eye Set. I'm choosing the Worker Pro to do this step, step since it's the worker. And I'm putting on these cream to powder go-go shade from uh, Natasha Denona's Retro. So Worker Pro is definitely the smallest among all the worker brushes from Sonia G. And 
as an Asian girl, probably this is like the most ideal shape. The smaller, the better, because we don't have a lot of space to work. If, uh, neither do we have that bone structure. So I definitely love this Worker Pro. And it performs so well with the cream to powder formulations. Just because it's natural hairs, it's gonna, you know, grab the product really well and distribute the powders really well as, as well. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm also using Worker Pro to do some base to my lower lash, just the tip of it. Ideal for that little space on your lower lash. On my left eye from the Sky Eye set, I'm using the classic crease to do the base shade. Uh, you probably would wonder why would I use a crease uh, brush to do like the base color. It's because I don't have the crease. So. Uh, for my Asian eye, to use a crease brush to do a base color shade, the biggest problem I would run into is probably when I you know, swirl this color in here. It definitely would get out to a larger area than I like really wanted, just because of the shape of it. If you watch it closely, maybe you can avoid that problem. But you, you see, like the application area is definitely bigger than the side. So that's one little problem there. But for my lower lash, I'm just gonna use the tip of this crease brush to distribute the colors as well. So after my base shade, I'm feeling like this color area and in between my uh, brow bone, there is a huge gap. So I really wanna transit out this color and I'm going back to my favorite brush, the T Detail Pro. This is also like a crease shape, uh, except for that it's much more fluffier so either use a loose powder to do this color you know translate out or just uh, dab onto this color or lighter shade and achieve that result and i'm doing that here just i just want to show you how versatile and useful this detail brush is it's just gonna soft everything up it's definitely my like most necessary brush other than the worker one or two See that? So for my depth shade, I'm first of all on the Pro Eye Set. I'm using the Pencil Pro, which I just mentioned, slightly smaller than Pencil 2. And with a dome shape or like a, a cone shape, you can definitely use it to draw out that perfect outer V and inner V. So as you can see, I used Pencil Pro to layer down the outer V and inner V depth shade really precisely, but it definitely lacks that flexibility or movement in terms of blending, like this little, little uh, brush here. It is too small for that procedure. So now I'm using the Crease Pro from the Pro Eye Set to blend out the shade. On my left eye depth shade, I'm only using this brush called Mini Boosters. Definitely one of my favorite from Sonia G. Again, this is also another daily staple in my routine. Because the shape of this brush, you can use it to place down the outer V shape uh, really precisely, but it also have that flex flexibility to move the color around, blend it out. So it's like a two-in-one kind of a brush for my eye shape. So after this depth shape, uh, I'm just gonna use the Blender Pro from the Pro Eye Set, which is a blending brush, just to blend out that outer edges. I know I could use the Detail Pro, but just to show you everything, let's use this one. Especially the outer V harsh edges. As much as we have done using the Crease Pro, but I guess we can use a little bit more of a blending to get that really fine result. On the Sky Eye uh, side, I'm using the Jumbo Blender for the sake of its name. It's the Blender brush, so let's do that. To be honest, I don't really love this Jumbo Blender because I think the hairs are packed too tightly. So when you are moving this around, it's actually quite stiff and firm actually hurts my eyelid a little bit so i i would much prefer a fluffier and softer brush like a detail pro to do this kind of a final blending process and i don't know why this is named as a blender pro it's more like i don't know 
I don't. I cannot really seem to find like a best place to use this brush. So for for the right eye, I'm pressing on a topper shade using the Builder Pro. So for the left side, uh, from Sky Eye Set, we have this soft shader for me to press on the um, topper shade. So as you can see, using this soft shader to press on the glitters, it's much more intense than my right eye, which compared to the Builder Pro. I guess it's because of how much of a thicker furrow this um, soft shader has. It does pack on more glitter you know, with one dip into the pan. Since that we're comparing these two, um, and I feel like their main purpose is to, is to do the outer depth, depth shade. I mean, building up the depth. Let's do that. Let's try try using these two to do, do the outer V again, since we have blend out most of it. So on my right eye again, I'm using the Builder Pro to build up the outer V shade. Rather than just to press some glitter shade onto your center eyelid, Builder Pro is definitely more intended for you know outer V build building. So yeah, it's actually working well. See, we have blend out almost every edges. Just need more of like a final blend. Let's use the Crease Pro. Left eye, I'm using the soft shader from Sky Eye. So the soft shader is much performing even much better than I thought as like a outer V shader brush. It lays, lays, on, lays down the color well. Ooh. So I'm using the flat definer from Sky Eye Set for both of my liners because the Pro Eye Set, the red series, they don't have this kind of a liner brush. So I think this flat definer as a liner brush is performing quite well because it still has that smudger two or the builder one kind of a tip. I mean, it's the narrow, very thin tip, yet it's really stable and firm. So it can definitely drag out that line uh, with this kind of a brush shape. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna swipe onto some color just to give some color there. And I'm gonna use the Pencil Pro from the Pro Eye Set. As I said, this is smaller than Pencil 2, so it definitely is much precise, much more precise than Pencil 2 to fit into like the lower lash area. Left eye from the Sky Series, uh, Sky Eye Series, I'm using the flat definer again just to swipe this color onto my lower lash. This is ideal for that procedure. And I'm gonna use the Pencil Pro again to light up my inner corner, especially the lower lash. It's just very precise placement of colors. I love this one, really not a lot. The side, just gonna use the flat definer again. All right, so that's our finished eye look using both sets, the Sky Eye set on my left eye and the Pro Eye set on this eye. I'm just gonna add on some mascara and give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, so I finished my makeup and I gathered my thoughts. Let's first of all draw some conclusions about these two sets, the Sky Eye set and the Pro Eye set. As you saw, I really love some of the brushes from each of the set. For the Pro Eye set, I love the um, uh, Builder Pro as well as the Pencil Pro. And uh, I love the Pencil Pro because it's much more precise than P Pencil 2, yet still having that cone shape. So you can do your outer V uh, layout or your highlight in your inner corner or even smudging on your lower lash line. And the um, Builder Pro is actually a new discovery today. I, in the past, I haven't know, I didn't know that I could use this to do my outer V shade, also blending out my, my outer V shade. I thought I only have mini booster at my hand. In the other three brushes from the Pro I said, they are just like a meh for me. The uh, Worker Pro is not as good as the Worker 1, 2, or 3. The Crease Pro or the Blender Pro, they're the same kind of a crease brush or the blending type of a brush. 
I, to be honest, don't use that kind of a brush a lot. I definitely would prefer so much more uh, like a detail uh, pro, this kind of a fluffy and larger brush to do, you know, that, uh, you know, eraser job or just final buffing. So if I have this, I don't really need those two. So I only have two of the brushes that I love from Pro Eye Set. For the Sky Eye Set, I have three of uh, that brushes that I really love. I love the flat definer. It's like a perfect liner brush. Also the smudger brush. Also lower lash line. You can do it. And I love the uh, soft shader as well. As you can see, we discovered its functionality today with together with the Builder Pro. Both of them could perform at as the outer V uh, shade building, also blending. It's just that uh, soft shader is kind of thicker or packed more intensely. So I really need to watch for the amount of product that I got onto this brush so that I could get a you know more soft or natural result. Or otherwise, if you wanna go for a more intense look, this would be uh, good as well. But it's just very ideal to do your outer V depth and also blending. Um, Speaking of which, I always love the mini booster. I love that it could lay out my outer V, also blend out my outer V, especially for, for my little hooded eye kind of a structure. I thought it was the only choice for me, but today we have two other more, the Builder Pro and the Soft Shader. So these three are just uh, really good. Um, for the other two brushes, the Jumbo Blender or the Classic crease again i don't need any kind of a crease brush in my daily routine because i don't have a crease and i will just use the detail detail pro again to do any you know final touch touch up or whatever so these are my conclusions about these two sets how about you know conclusions overall about you know whether it's the fundamental line or the sky i set or the pro i set i'll just give you guys my cocktail plan like i have a, a very detailed customized plan for you guys from worker series just pick up one of the worker one or two they're the exactly the same it's just one dyed or undyed they're just gonna become the workhorse in your collection no matter it's your base color your uh, blending or your final touch-ups or your lower lash line it can do everything sometimes i use these two brushes just to do one makeup uh, overall just use these two brushes for all the steps so these are like must-have from sonia g and for your outer v shading again as i just emphasized so much that i love mini booster soft shader and also this builder pro because all of them have that uh, dual purpose you can lay out your outer v shape very precisely and then use it on its own to blend out your outer v if you need some final touch up use your worker or your detail pro to do that and for some detail work, I'll recommend you guys to pick out one of these three. So we have the Smudger 2, we have the Pencil Pro, we have the Flat Definer. Uh, just Pencil Pro doesn't have the functionality to draw your eyeliner, but not everybody use like a brush to draw eyeliner, right? And we, uh, we all have that crayon eyeliner or liquid eyeliner, so that's not like a must have. And to compare, I prefer slightly better of this flat definer than the smudger too because flat definer does have a longer furrow uh, the length of the hair is longer so it definitely have much more flexibility or more functionality sometimes and these are for the detailing work and the final two brushes are fun to have not must have but they're really just unique um I cannot emphasize enough how this Detail Pro has changed my life. Like for your final touch-ups, your buffing, eraser motion, even for your highlighter, that's actually what, what was intended by Sonia G when she first designed this. You can use this for your eyes, also for your spotlight highlighter. And this is just a nice brush to have. You have to feel it. It's just very so soft, very so fluffy. It's just gonna make everything look one step further uh, and even better. And for the Builder One, you know, this uh, little, I could call it chubby kind of a brush. I really love how it's designed. It's definitely one of um, Sonia G's, you know, unique design in a way that you cannot really find this on market from other brands. As you saw, it packs on the sparkly shade so well. It plays the 
sparkly shades as is. It doesn't have any too much of product left out, uh, left over on it. And it does break out your hard pan shades easily. And it's just so fun to have this brush and it's so unique. So these two, if you have the extra budget, definitely get them. If not, maybe they're not like the must have. All the three uh, categories that I recommended first are like the daily essential staple ones. Yeah, that's everything from today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and find today's video helpful. If so, please don't forget to give a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. My name is Shi Yu. I'm a bilingual makeup content creator here on YouTube. So my videos, they all have two versions, Chinese, English. And yeah, uh, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And I'll just see you in my next video. Bye.